Welcome to a rig we really haven't talked a whole lot about until just now. Uh, this is kind of its maiden voyage. A Mitsubishi Delica L400 for those in the know. Space gear. And uh, this is an extended wheelbase model. All that really doesn't matter. It's a big giant diesel 4x4 Japanese van. Uh, the steering wheel is on the right side. It's an automatic, so Mark can actually drive this one. We have plenty of room for camera guy Cooper and also MC Ryan, as well as Mark. Obviously, he'll be joining us. Inside and all of our gear, Cooper's actually going to be able to see out of a window this time. Yeah, it's kind of neat. Been working on it for a little bit. We did a little bit of a resto, put a little lift kit on it, some Meteor tires, roof rack, all that good stuff. Uh, she's running well. We'll see if she makes it to Pennsylvania and back. If she doesn't, I don't know where we're gonna get parts. <laughs> yeah, where have you guys been? I've been looking all over for you. Hey, I gotta get some. I gotta get some things out of my truck. <laughs> now, the door was left open. It wasn't me. I'm Ryan. Ryan. No. Is it the is it the back? Did the back not close? I'll give that a try. How long have we been on the road, Mark? Oh, I don't know, 30 seconds tops. It's pretty average for us for our first yeah, that was it. hiccup. I don't know, one in a million. Nick, good to see you. I was oh surprised you could tell it was us when we drove up here. Yeah, I had no you? idea at first. I was just, you know, wanted to greet this nice man. This is a pretty cool range. Yeah, it's, it's a very uh, cool got a lot range. of stuff. Yeah, it does. And I can show you around real quick. Cool. So, we're working yeah. with. so this is a 600 yard range. Okay. It's got a lot of props down here. It's probably the nicest rooftop I've ever seen. First PRS match. This is the first time I've seen, you know, these stages lined up the way they are. Can you give us like a quick rundown in between muzzle brake blasts here of kind of like what we can expect as a first timer? Uh, the first thing that I want to really harp on you guys and make sure that you don't do is safety violations. It's yep. going to be really easy to commit a safety violation. Okay. So my your, your goal is to not be DQ'd from this match. Correct. That's a good goal. Yep. If you yes. don't get DQ'd, you succeeded. Goal number one, be safe, don't get DQ'd. Yeah. Well, shall we? Yeah. Oh, yeah. See if I can find Matt. Matthew? Yes, sir. This is Jimmy Hamilton. Hi. Pleasure. Nice to meet you, Matthew. Mark, nice to meet you. Thanks He's for coming all. out, guys. Matt is the master director. Yeah, also we're having this. Vortex team shooter. So. Cool. You guys excited for the first PRF match? We are. Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you awesome. guys are welcome to use that whole facility for, you know, train up today. Get okay. Get data dialed in and play on some of the props and, yeah. you know. Right on. Deal. Good to meet you, Matt. Thanks for all yeah, Thank you. Anything you guys need, don't hesitate to ask. Awesome. Appreciate all right. Sure we'll see you around. Good deal. When do I start twirling it around a lot? I'm just all business. Go ahead and just check your zero. Make sure that's looking good. Start there. Roger, Roger. Yeah, you got to put that. Elevation looks perfect. That was my best shot. Okay. Maybe 11.30. It's, it's not much, but it's a little bit. Do an 11 o'clock win. Go ahead and send one more. Do it pretty good. Maybe a touch high, but not by much. Alright. Go with the .5 win hold. Impact. Right, we right Looks good, man. Sweet. We're going to have you uh, just shoot the 100 yard, make sure that we're zeroed, and we'll make adjustments if needed. We are fun. All right, so another one. Were you aiming at the center of the square or were you aiming at the corners? Center. Okay. Two tenths, and then I want you to aim at the top right hand corner. Okay. I'm just going to verify that the zero is perfect, and then we're going to start moving out. Take two shots at it. Well, All right, Mark, your zero is perfect. Put it in the same hole. That looked good. Yeah. All right, so let's go ahead and take your data here, and let's roll it out to, let's go out right up to 500. Okay. 
Yeah, that was pretty good. You're a little high in center, right. and you were a little left. Right. I think the wind died on him. Yeah, Will. Okay. Alright, was good. It was an impact. Yep. Yeah, you're pretty centered on it too. So we're going to start off doing a little barricade practice. I'm going to have you shoot 500 yards, the largest plate rack. So it's the biggest plate on the left. Mm -hmm. So we're going to shoot this, this, and this, and then we're going to work down the tires, the rocks, and do uh, some stuff on the windows too, okay? Cool, man. Alright, so all we need is the rifle and your barricade bag. Alright, RL says, shooter, do you understand the course of fire? I'm going to say, yes sir, I do. So shooter make ready, ready, engage. I'm gonna, bag, and I'm gonna make sure that that bag is in a good position. Mm -hmm. I do not want that bag to come off left or right. I wanna make that bag as steady as I can so that I'm not fiddling with it when the rifle's on there. Put the rifle on the bag, and I'm identifying where that rifle's pointed before I get on the scope. So I'm looking at the target so that when I get on my rifle, it doesn't take any time to find it. So I close the bolt once I'm on target, shoot, shoot, then I grab the gun bag, go to the next one, same thing. One of two schools of thought. A, you can go like this, just use it as an elbow support. Okay, maybe like sure. that. Yeah. Or what I like to do, so I'll lean on it like that and shoot it prone. Okay. Back, nice. Shoot from the top of each of these positions. So position one, two, three, four, and five. All right, stand by and get. Wait, I don't have my thing out yet. Did you understand the course of fire? Usually yeah, fire. but didn't, right. didn't, don't they say shooter make ready? Sometimes. All right, Sometimes. I, that's my fault. I didn't say it. Look at this guy. We've got a beginner here and he's like, I'm gonna go advance. Uh, so wait, okay, so if All you right. say So you're ready. What? Are you ready? No, not yet. Okay. Yeah, I guess I Does that happen? I Do they, that up. If they say No, it's usually I don't know. Everybody does it differently. I usually say shooter, do you understand the course of fire? And then Make ready. I mean at that point people Stand by. Are, make ready. Okay, so go ahead and make ready. You're gonna hear a lot of different ways to do it. There's no real set standard. Got it. What you wanna what you wanna really pay attention to is when they say, do you understand the course of fire? If you don't know it, don't say yes. Don't That's, say anything. Yeah, right. don't say anything. Just wait. I did understand the course of fire, I just wasn't ready. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Stand by, engage. Come on, man. Motor's ready. All right, ready. Stand by. Engage. Off to the right. Man, that thing's still going right. Take away two things from this. I need you to follow through with your shots. Yep. I need you to make sure the bag is in a good position. Okay. You have one over here. The bag was literally like this. <laughs> it was just like half half we tossed up there. You got very little point of contact on that bag. Gotcha. Yep. So make sure that this thing is getting as much contact as possible with the rifle. Yep. You can set it like this. Nice flat surface. Get the rifle up there, touching as much of the back as you can. It sits. Yep. If it's just hanging. So make sure that you take the time while you put down this bag to put it in a good spot. Okay. All right, as you might hear from the blasts in the background, Jim and I are still at the range. Now we spent a considerable amount of time today, not too much though, with Nick and Matt and the other guys here. We're going through kind of the, the process of a PRS match. So we got our guns dialed, we got our dope for where we're at, which there definitely were some differences from where we started. Uh, we made a few changes there. Jim's trigger, trigger is still too heavy. My trigger was too light. We were able to find a wrench and adjust that. And that was really gonna help 
with my follow through. Like Nick was like, follow through, follow through. And I'm like, ah, I'm trying to follow through. I'm not following through. Then he shot the gun. He's like, I can't even follow through with this thing. So we got the adjustment. It gave it a little bit more oomph to get it going. And I noticed after shooting it, there definitely was a different, the gun, you know, shot a little bit better for me. Those shots are feeling way better. Some things to think about, you know, one of the things that could be intimidating to a person, Jim, when they're going to their first match, is just really a lot of the, the protocols and the safety protocols. You always want to be safe, right? You, you have your, 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 your rules of safety when it comes to firearms and shooting. But there's kind of some different methods that you may encounter here or um, just kind of the, uh, the nature of the match kind of dictates how you may want to move. And these guys, I mean, it's second nature to them. If it's your first time, it may not be second nature. That stuff as well. Yeah, little things I didn't even think about. Like, if you're on a firing line, if you're gonna move from the left to the right, don't turn your body even if the gun is staying up, because if you fall, everybody's down that firing line. So just little things to know. We're gonna be doing a little shuffling mm -hmm. here today, the old electric slide. The old electric slide. If there's one thing that we, uh, w our takeaway today was definitely the electric slide. Yeah, right. I mean, it's kind of a slow as fast thing here. Uh, very deliberate, the less you move, the faster you go. Think about your movements, think about the positions, analyze the stage before you get into it. There's definitely a lot that goes into it, which is part of the fun. That's right. Now we just gotta shoot tomorrow. All right, well, we're packed up. Everybody's migrating over here to the towers. We're gonna go uh, get our safety brief. So pretty common thing at the beginning of a match, get that safety brief, kind of get all those reminders locked in. Kind of give you that last minute rundown. Uh, definitely a helpful thing. And so that's where we're headed. Can you see who our squad is? Meet our squad. I think people will call us probably like a super squad, Jim. Probably, mostly just because we're in it too. All right, uh, first and foremost, guys, I really want to thank everybody for showing up to our second two day this year. Uh, it's greatly appreciated. We are using RO option number three, so you guys will spot. The ROs that are at each stage will brief you. They will handle the tablet, they will handle the timer, they will get you in, out, and on your way. No mags until the rifle or until the stage is cleared. 120 rule is in effect. If you break the 120 rule at any given time during the day, the RO will DQ you for the match. Okay, if you are squads one through three, you will jump on the bus and they're gonna roll you out to what we call our yellow gate range. It's the range by the front of the uh, range. All right, go ahead and get to your stages. I'll give the all go. Whatever window you go to first, you engage the large one with three rounds. Go to another window, engage that middle one with three rounds. Go to another window, engage that far right small one with three rounds. Go to a fourth window, engage each target with one round. All right, it is go time. Back, yeah. This is the Thank first you. stage of the day. First shooter is up. Dave, I am on deck, right so coming in hot, coming in hot. So uh, we'll see how it goes. I think I kind of have the stage down, but definitely it's like a game of memory. So uh, wish me luck. You understand the course of fire? Uh, I do. Shooter ready? Shooter ready. Stand by. Magazine in and bolt back on the stage sign. On the command, the shooter will move into position on the left tank trap and engage target one from big to small. Stand by.
feel like you can see maybe the skills improving or getting there a little bit more after this practice we've done and shooting the stage now. The follow through was so much better on that stage. There's a couple times where I was ready immediately to take the second shot, but I actually felt weird how quick I was ready to take the second shot. I was almost like, am I doing this right? So next time I just play through that. I actually wasted like probably 15 seconds being like, I was supposed to do that, right? Like send a second shot. But anyway, cool. That went all right. On the command, shooter will move into position. On the trunk of the car, engage targets near to far. The targets are four inch squares hanging off that white saw horse. Coyote pup in the middle of the range. Target three is over top of the KYL rack on the right side of the range, near to far, back to near for your last shot. Shooter ready? Yes. Stand by. Shooter will start all gear in hand. We'll take up a position on either the high or the low 2x4 and fire five rounds at the mover. All right, well, Mark and I have finished up our first day of PRSing ever, and uh, Nick is here. He's finished up day who knows what of, of doing that, but uh, boy, this is tough. This is, a, this is people keep calling it, the term uh, PRS is trendy, sporty. Uh, this match is very sporty. Yes, indeed. it is. Oh, we just shot. This, this stage right here was 600, 700, 800, 900, and 1,000, and they're all 8-inch plates, so at 1,000 yards, we're well under sub-minute of angle. And Lots of sporting, and I'll say this. To me, this was the easiest one of them all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because you're shooting, laying down, right? Yeah. <laughs> positional shooting has been pretty brutal. Lots of different stages, some pretty crazy props to shoot off of. Two different stages today well, with a moving ready. target. Um, never done that before, so it's been pretty wild. Uh, but... Yeah, I mean, it's fun. We still have another day left of shooting to redeem ourselves on a few other stages we got skunked on. But, uh, Nick, the one thing I'm thinking, though, is, like, I mean, we're here. We're, we're good sports. We're enjoying our first time shooting a PRS match. Yeah. I don't know, like, if you were going to shoot your very first ever one, though, would you, would you recommend somebody go to one that's, 
I mean, this is pretty difficult. There's like really top shooters here that are even timing out. You're gonna learn more from one of these matches, but it, it'll probably affect your ego a little bit <laughs> too. So, uh, you know, go to a local match or, or a, a regional match would be a good spot too. There's all, I mean, yeah. all the pro shooters go to those as well. That's kind of where they practice. So we have come out here after and we have learned a lot. And if you're like Mark and I, our egos have already been destroyed enough by all the pod <laughs> ventures that we've done that you yes. guys have all gotten to watch along. Jim, so. why do we continually plunge ourselves? into the most trial by fire, difficult situation possible, and therefore embarrassing. Like you said, my ego isn't bruised, like I can't even find it anymore, it's gone. <laughs> One day we'll do something we're good at and everybody will, it'll be yeah. boring, don't really even like it. Um, so yeah, but follow up because we're gonna go on to day two next, there's a few more stages. A few more rounds yeah. to fire. That's right. All right, so we just rolled in for day two of the Vortex Vengeance PRS match. Now as you can see, or maybe, Jim, as you can't see, the fog has rolled in. It's pretty thick, so this is kind of going to delay our start time this morning. We're going to hopefully wait for it to lift. The sun appears to be maybe wanting to burn it off. Yeah, that might work. But, uh, so we'll just kind of play it by ear. Let's do it. All right, shooter ready? Shooter ready. Stand by. Six, not seven, but six. I felt pretty good. I just had that two tense hold. I actually paid attention to my reticle for that one, didn't just hold on the edge of the plate. Use that two tense little tick mark. Dude, you know what? It so, worked. So funny. Finally, like trust the reticle. I was holding two tense off the plate as well, and you were hitting got a few impacts. So yeah. the tricky part with that one for me a little bit was um, that plate is so beat up. It was actually a little bit, you know, I'd come off the gun a little bit and I'd have to reacquire. I'm like, uh, oh yeah, yeah and there it's it in is. The shadow. I'd have to find that landmark and then come down every time. And it's in the shadow of the trees too. So but, it's, it's tough to see. But overall, I mean, definitely my best run of the day. So yeah, four shots, four hits. I think you had six shots, six hits. So pretty cool. I like it. Let's see if we can keep that up. Yeah. <laughs> Mark, at the beat, engage your targets. You're getting deadly with that thing, yep. man. Hey, that was really good. Right right those first three targets actually right held on those. Burn it down, Ryan. Hey, Hammer down. You you yeah, that was pretty cool. No, How many hits do you have? I had seven. I had seven on that one. Seven. seven. Not six. Seven. Not six. Seven, seven. seven is the key number. Wow. Jim's doing great. I've got some catching up to do. Your targets are a 12 inch square and an 8 inch square at 603 yards. It's located on a blue rack. If you have trouble finding it, let me know. You've got 90 seconds to complete the 10 shots. Shooter, do you understand the course of fire? Stand by.
time. What? Was that was the nod? That was the nod. Okay. Are we on? <laughs> Are we live? <laughs> All right, we just finished up the last stage here. Stage number eight, we're actually sitting on the prop. And a uh, big shout out here to a podcast fan, Kevin, who was the R over here. Good point over at Kevin. He's Kev, give the camera a wave. He's there he is. Big help at the event. Huge shout out to all the ROs who helped out at this event and events like it. Uh, but Mark and I, we finished up and um, a lot of learning. A lot of learning. Mark, you're kind of like, I don't know, I'm trying to I'm trying to cheer you up. I know, Jim. I mean, if we're being quite honest, it didn't go well. And you definitely learn something at every stage. And a lot of it for me, like my biggest, biggest hang up is just figuring out how to get stable. You think, oh, I'll just go up there and I'll plop my bag down and it should be all right. And then you're like, yeah, I was ended up fumbling with things. I was fumbling with my bipod. So, I mean, a lot of it is just learning your gear and how it works and how to integrate that with a stage and then manipulate the stage so you can get stable. At least that's what I found, you know, when my it, big problem was. When it comes to that too, you gotta have like short-term memory loss. Cause if you mess one thing up and you keep remembering it, then it's, you're gonna mess up the next seven things down the line. You mess one thing up, fix it, forget it, and move on. I mean, that's what, the, that's what I really felt learned the most. Yep. Um, and I'm not gonna say that I learned it, you know, like on this expert level now, but I felt like the last few stages that we had today, aside from this one, this one's tough. You see all this stuff back here? This one was tough. I only got two hits on this one, but I did Shoot all right. Through the stuff, oh, yeah. through the holes, everything. I, I, I picked it up a little bit today. You did, felt, Jim. I mean, you, like, I really watched you have a progression like that where I just kind of went, eh, 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 eh. a little up and down. <laughs> and then mostly, like, kind of, then they kind of did this. Give your, you gotta give yourself more credit. For okay, that. maybe one more of those. Oh, in, it's, it would be expected from most normal people here at their first match. Yeah, I mean, this is a tough match. I mean, this is probably, I mean, this is like a national match. You got a lot of pros here, a lot of guys that know what they're doing. Short time limits too. I mean, that was definitely, I feel like I could have executed more shots if there was, if I had more time, I guess. But that's the whole point is that you don't have time. Yeah. So. Well, now all we have left to do is follow up on all this with the podcast. We're going to do a final podcast. There's other ones that were leading up to this whole event too. You should go back and check those out. All part of the pod venture. Uh, is there anything else, Mark? Or are we going to send this pod venture off into the digital happy trails? Let's send it off. Had a great time. Great people. Really enjoyed it. And uh, learned a lot. Absolutely. All right. Thanks, guys. Catch you on the next one.